All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Hotel Sienna, Dallas Turner, and JJ McCarthy. Are you freaking kidding me? The Minnesota Vikings, we had a feeling that they were going to trade up and select a quarterback in the top 10 most likely. They briefly move up. They select JJ McCarthy out of the University of Michigan at pick number 10. Still surprised at the amount of backlash that that pick is receiving. And Dallas Turner, the best edge rusher in the NFL draft out of the University of Alabama, they snag him at pick number 17. Yes, they did have to give up a little bit of some capital. The Jaguars in that trade received the 23rd pick from the Minnesota Vikings, a 2024 fifth round pick, and then a 2025 third and a 2025 fourth. Uh, folks, don't worry about the draft capital. In the first round, especially if you got your guy and your guy falls at that level, I mean, Dallas Turner literally went pick number 17. People were projecting him for weeks and weeks and months and months that he was going to go pick number eight to the Atlanta Falcons. If Atlanta decided to pass on him at eight, people were saying the Chicago Bears were going to take him at pick number nine, and he falls all the way to 17, and the Minnesota Vikings make their move. Uh, first and foremost, you went out there, you got your quarterback of the future, once again, I made a video, it's funny, man, I made a video right when they selected JJ, and then of course, right as that video uploaded, they picked up in a trade Dallas Turner. But guys, we're talking about the Minnesota Vikings day one draft, so I don't think they have a day two draft pick here uh, tonight. It's 3:30 at the time of this recording but guys before we get any further into today's video if you enjoy it be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button for daily nfl content vikings fans love and appreciate you guys as always uh folks i know we're at the time of this recording only one day into the nfl draft but the minnesota vikings are huge winners i want to start it off with jj mccarthy so we talked about this in our video yesterday you know i've got the cbs sports app and they do like a quick sentence or two on you know a draft grade and their thoughts uh pete prisco had them as a c plus here's what he said they had to fill the quarterback spot, so it makes sense to take McCarthy. I don't love him as much as others do, but it will be interesting to see how Kevin O'Connell gang will make work. Gave him a C-plus draft grade. Folks, uh, J.J. McCarthy, people were saying that Washington could potentially take him at two. People were saying that the Vikings were going to trade up into three, or the Raiders were going to trade up into pick three to select J.J. McCarthy. Um, Folks, he gives me everything I want especially in Kevin O'Connell's system and especially in the Minnesota Vikings offense, where first off, once again, you have freaking Justin Jefferson, a top three undisputed wide receiver in the National Football League, rising young gun stud, wide receiver Jordan Addison, last year's rookie. You picked up Aaron Jones in free agency for my Green Bay Packers. You still have TJ Hawkinson. You've got a really solid, reliable, I know they have some offensive line holes, but yada, 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 neither here nor there. Um, I, I love the JJ pick. And once again, this is something we were projecting all off season. The folks, um, one big thing that we were kind of talking about time and time again is, you know, there's always a quarterback who falls and most people weren't projecting Michael Penix Jr. at pick number eight. So it feels like JJ just kind of fell into the Minnesota Vikings lap here. And at pick number 10, as opposed to trading up for pick number four, or pick number three to select him, this is a huge win, folks. Absolutely huge win. Now, let's talk about Dallas Turner. Uh, here's what Pete Prisco had to say about this. He gave it an A grade. Love this move to go get Turner. He will be the best edge player in this class. The Vikings have had a lot of success with edge players, and he fits what Brian Flores wants to do. So you lost Daniel Hunter, right? And you picked up Jonathan Greener, you picked up Blake Cashman, Jill, Jerry Tillery, Jonah Williams, Jihad Ward, Andrew Van Ginkle. The two main additions defensively in free agency were Blake Cashman and Jonathan Greener. And I don't know why, but that got some backlash here. Both of those two players are coming off career seasons where they got kind of their first ever starting gig over in Houston. And these are starting caliber players like Jonathan Greener's a freaking beast. And I love Daniel Hunter, and obviously Daniel Hunter is one of the best at what he does at the edge position, but um, long term, you move off of Kirk Cousins, it just didn't really feel like it felt the timeline, you know, considering what Daniel Hunter was going to cost. Like, he got a fat freaking contract over in Houston. So you take a different route, and you get Jonathan Greener to play Clat Cashman, and the thought is like, all right, Minnesota, before all these draft picks in general, 
Because once again, the thought process was Minnesota was going to trade for like pick number four, or pick number five, and you were going to have to give up the 11th pick and the 23rd pick. So it was kind of like quarterback or bust in the first round. If you got your quarterback, you don't have a first round pick. You don't have too many draft picks in general. So you're most likely not going to get, you know, a day one starting edge rusher. That's exactly what they walked away with. Your GM just pulled off a masterclass, and apparently this guy's been on the hot seat here. I think he just literally had an A-plus day, guys. Dallas Turner is the real deal. He's a freaking truth. He's from the University of Alabama. We say it on this channel all the time. You can never go wrong drafting an SEC football player, especially a Nick Saban football player from the University of Alabama. And just like that, you have a revamped defense. You've got cheaper, younger, more versatile players. Dallas Turner is the definition of flexible. He can stop the run. He can hit the quarterback. He can force pressures. He is so versatile, so dynamic as an edge rusher. That's why people had him in the top 10. People had him as the best edge rusher in the NFL draft. And you just freaking walked away with Daniel's replacement and you already kind of had it with Jonathan Greenard but um this is a money move Brian Flores huge winner Kevin O'Connell huge winner your GM huge winner Minnesota I know once again we're only one day into the NFL draft folks you'll look at this team on paper and if I had a you know what is it like a magic not eight ball but if I had uh whatever the hell that you use to predict the future and you know like a movie if I had whatever the hell that word is called and I could tell you, J.J. McCarthy will be at least a slightly above average QB. Folks, you're set. In Kevin O'Connell's system, with that offensive line, with that versatile running back in Aaron Jones, as long as he stays healthy, with freaking Justin Jefferson in his prime rising superstar age, Jordan Addison, rising star wide receiver. I wouldn't be surprised if the Minnesota Vikings decide to go in the fourth round with a wide receiver again, because he did lose an important piece at wide receiver three in KJ Osborne. Um, it's really good. And once again, um, you know, rookie quarterbacks typically struggle a little bit. You know, you see more inconsistency. You do see some flashes. The NFC North is loaded. Obviously, the Detroit Lions won 12 football games. My Green Bay Packers, although we only won nine games, we hopefully have a quarterback of the future in Jordan Love. The Chicago Bears just drafted Caleb Williams and Roma Dunze in the first you know, 10 picks of their draft, the first nine picks of the draft. The NFC North is looking like it's going to be good for a really long time, and you know, just because of the scheme and the system in place, I think JJ will have a really easy time adjusting into the NFL. But even if it takes one season to just acclimate to it and maybe go from an 8-9 win team to double digits, that's something Vikings fans will take, in my opinion, because it's long-term. You're set for the long-term. Guys, if JJ McCarthy's the dude, you're set. You're freaking set, and you walk away with Dallas Turner. Come on, man. Give me a break. I'm walking here. So thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Vikings fans, love you guys as always. But give me a grade letter on the Vikings draft thus far.